Hi guys, Gabi from UI Path Hacks here. Today we have another UI Path and SAP BAPIs video. What is the BAPI Red 2 object? How does it look like? Why we should care about it if we work with BAPIs? And last but not least, how is it used in the still new and fresh UI Path SAP accelerators? So what is the BAPI RED2 object and what is it used for? It is an SAP structure used to save the return data after the BAPI has run. And if the BAPI is successful, there are no return error messages. But if there are issues when running the BAPI, then there could be one or more return messages. And alongside with the messages, there are a number of other fields, like the type of the message, which could be success, error, warning, info, report, the ID of the message, and a message number, which could be particularly useful as a classification system or trigger condition if we want our workflow to react differently to different types of errors. Now let's see how it is used. Because the SAP accelerators are still new and the code is already written, we can use as an example the BAPI Requisition Create Accelerator, which I've demonstrated already in one of my previous videos. If you're interested to understand in general how BAPIs are working with UiPath with the help of the new accelerators, I highly recommend that you watch that video. But for now, we will just focus on how the return messages are handled in the accelerators to understand how they work. So we have the workflow SRC BAPI Requisition Create, which is being called by the foundation pack. And this workflow is calling the BAPI, and then it's calling this convert BAPI log to BAPI log format. And if we open this workflow, we have here a big switch, and we see different cases. We see BAPI red one, BAPI red two, BAPI return one, and then list of BAPI red one, two, or return. And the reason why we have this differentiation between just an object like BAPI Red2 and a list of objects is that, as I mentioned before, if we have several messages returned by the BAPI, let's say we are trying to create a requisition with multiple items and we have errors on multiple items, then we'll get a list of BAPI Red2 objects rather than one BAPI Red2 object. If we have only one error message, we get only one object, BAPI Red2. Now, what is the difference between BAPI RED1 and BAPI RED2, for example? I've asked myself as well, and I've just um, googled it. I found here the structure of BAPI RED1 and BAPI RED2, and apparently the main reason or the only reason is that BAPI RED2 has some additional fields, parameter, row, field, and system, while BAPI RED1 does not have them. So if we open the case for BAPI RED2, we see here that the BAPI Red2 object is copied over to a dictionary. We have the outtemp object, and at the end we have a collection, which is our outconverted data as an argument. So a list of dictionary of string and string. And if you look at the details, we see here the value field, the ID, the message number, log number, the actual message, um, and then all the other fields, message variable 1, variable 2, so on, variable 3 and 4, um, the number here, parameter, uh, system, and uh, type. So basically we have all the fields that uh, we have seen here in this help online. All these are copied to a list of dictionaries, and then we are presented with some further format changes, um, the end result of the error message. So now let's see how it works in practice. Let's trigger first an error message. So I will take the same example um, we have seen in my previous video. I will open the data Excel file, and let's trigger an error. For example, let's change 
the material code so it will not find it in the system anymore. I will just add something at the end. I will save this, close the Excel file, and let's run the workflow. So we get the parameter setting Excel file, that is correct. We get the SAP username, password, Puppy runs. And we get the process completed successfully message. That's because there's no exception when running the workflow. But we can look now at the log file and see what happened really in SAP. We open the same file, the data file, and here in the SRC log sheet we have the result of running the puppy. And we have just run it now. Uh, we have a status which is error. And then we have all the details here from running the puppy. So we have the code. This is the code. We have a log message number. And uh, then the actual message, which is the material, so on, does not exist or is not activated. That's because we have just changed the code of the material and this material doesn't exist with the 007 at the end. And we have then at the end uh, also the other information like uh, message variable, uh, one and um, type E and so on. So this is the result basically. Uh, this is what we got from the BAPI red2 object, the error message and some code and type and message number. And that's how we know that the BAPI basically failed and we know what the issue was. We can fix it and then run again the automation. And that was it. We have seen what the BAPI red2 object is, how it looks like, why and how we should use it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and if you want to support the channel and be informed of future uploads, please subscribe and click the notification bell. Thank you for watching and have a great day.